Doug, House Oversight Committee today found that Washington Commander's owner Dan Snyder fostered and engaged in a toxic work environment and even tried to evade and interfere into investigations of the team. NFL also found to be guilty of some accusations as well as they were found partly at blame as the House claims the league attempted to cover up findings in the investigations and failed to stop Daniel Snyder's actions. Findings also reveal that Snyder and the Commanders leaked the John Gruden emails to the Wall Street Journal. And Brittany Griner, the WM NBA star that spent 10 months in the hands of the Russian government is on her way home. This is a day we've worked toward for a long time. We never stopped pushing for her release. It took painstaking and intense negotiations, and I want to thank all the hardworking public servants across my administration who worked tirelessly to secure her release. And that was President Joe Biden earlier today. Griner coming home as part of a prisoner swap that occurred in the United Arab Emirates as the U.S. handed over convicted arms dealer Victor Bout to Russian authorities. Doug, back to you. Victor Bout's known as the Merchant of Death. That's a hell of a nickname, right? It's a hell of a, that's yes. a, like, listen, if we want to like, again, I'm not in any way uh, saying that selling arms illegally, uh, AK-47s or whatever is a reputable business, but that is a reputable nickname. Merchant, what's your nickname? Hey, call me, my, my name is Francis, but everybody calls me Snake. What's your nickname? They call me the Merchant of Death. I mean, it's a good nickname. It's a very, it's a very, very good, good, good nickname. Um, I, a couple things are amazing to me about about how we, as sports fans, we talk politics. So Dan was mentioning, you're mentioning the House Oversight Committee, right? And their findings into the Washington Commanders, football team, Redskins, whatever, uh, the, the, the awful organization that they have been, right? That's what the, these are. Yes. Okay. Yes. When, whenever it's something we don't care about or something we, somebody we do like and they're being investigated, what do we always get? Like, why is Congress spending time on sports? This is my tax money being wasted, right? I mean, all the tax money did was find out that Dan Snyder is a bad guy and fostered an environment that was awful for uh, for women to work in. And um, it's previously been exposed. Are there some details that come out? Yes. But it's really interesting to me on how it's like, oh, why is Congress inv- investigating baseball and steroids? Well, because they can actually get the answers. They can actually subpoena people. Uh, but it is interesting, normally, when it's something, you know, if it's somebody you do like and there's findings about them, you go like, Congress wasting their time. Clearly nobody likes Dan Snyder. Which brings us to the Brittany Griner thing. Couldn't we have traded Dan Snyder? I'm serious, okay? Now think, well, hold on. Before you, before you, before you say, no, Gottlieb, nobody wants Dan Snyder. He has no value. That's not true. He's a billionaire. Right, so the Russians clearly they're gonna need some cash here with the whole Ukrainian war disaster. What if we go like, listen, I understand you don't really want Dan Snyder. We don't want him either. Okay, but if we give you Dan Snyder, it takes a whole heck of a lot of problems off ours, and we'll find a new owner in Washington. And when he sells the team, it'll be for like six billion dollars, and you can over ransom. He can pay you a billion dollars. There you go. They should have had me negotiating this deal. I think I would have. I Danny Age would have been all about picks, and you know, let's do a swap pick. You know, next time we do a prisoner exchange, we get to make the first offer. I also think it's interesting. There's a Marine. What's the Marine's name? Who's who's uh, Whelan? Uh, Whe- something Whelan. Whelan. Paul Whelan. Paul Whelan. Yeah, Paul. Paul Whelan. We get all these people like, I can't believe we didn't get Paul Whelan back, which I, I can't either. But, you know, Paul Whelan's been there for like, I don't know, six, seven years. So, if anything, Brittany Griner actually brought attention to, like, I had no idea the Marine was still there. None. It's also espionage he's there for. Whatever he was doing, like, like she had some weed oil. He was doing espionage. So, it's a very different sort of negotiation for one as opposed to the other. Just going to point that out. But, like, what, all, the, all, all the same people that are like, why don't we trade for both? Okay. So, what you need to do is do the hashtag free... What's his name again? Whalen? Whelan? Paul Whalen, yeah. Paul Whalen. Free Paul Whalen should be on a hashtag Twitter every day until he comes home. I thought you care. Because if you care, then you actually care. So there you go. That's interesting. I, I just thought about this. You know how LeBron was all up in arms, how nobody asked him about Jerry Jones. Right. I guarantee if a member of the press corps asks him tonight, how come you haven't hashtag free Paul Whalen? Yes. He'll be like, let's keep this to basketball, yeah, man. So what, what does this have to do with basketball? 
And, and by the way, if you trade Daniel Snyder uh, to the Russians, yes. do you think they would have a problem with him creating <clears throat> a toxic work environment in the prison Feels camp? Feels like Russia is a kind of a toxic work environment. I don't know. What do, you, what do you guys think? I've actually played basketball in Russia. Do you guys know I lived in Russia? Speak Russian. Yes. Ya yeah. piva. I want a beer. That's, there you go. There's my. Ya piva. Da. Da. Ya panyamaya, if I understand. I, I, I understand. That's uh, I always say in Spanish, like for Spanish, the one thing you always hear people say, like, like I can say, like, donde esta el baño, right? Where's Where the is the bathroom? So what would that be in Russian? Because that seems to be the common Spanish term everybody always says when they know Spanish. Uh, <laughs> it's like good day. It's like good day. Okay. It's pronounced differently. Good day. I forgot what bathroom is. Good day. Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta think okay. of what bathroom, bathroom. Good day is where, because in Hebrew it's F O F F O bathroom F F O bathroom F O bathroom. I don't even know what the bathroom word is in Hebrew. In it's a tough Russian, word. Good day, good day, good day. They don't have an H in their language, so if you go to see a movie with Garrison Ford, it's very different. <laughs> Garrison Ford. <laughs> if there's one reason to hate Russians, it's they can't pronounce Garrison Ford. There you go. You're like, ah, you know, I was. It was more really about about their leader. I don't like Putin, but then I found out they pronounce Harrison Ford Garrison. And I just couldn't handle it anymore. Could we trade Dan Snyder? What would that what would that negotiation be like? You guys didn't like my thing. Like, look, he's worth several billion dollars. We don't want him. He's annoying. Like, yeah, he's annoying to us too. But just take him. We just listen. People have a much more. I'll tell you what. Here's the thing. We'll give you we'll give you the Merchant of Death, and we'll give you Dan Snyder. You give us back uh, the Marine. What do you think? And Dan Snyder buy his way out of it, right? Here's another one. This is this is a question which you don't have to answer. Maybe we can answer in the pot. Dan Snyder has like a dossier on every other owner in the NFL. Right? That's one of the things that came out, if you listen to Dan Beyer, that uh, the John Gruden emails were sent to the New York Times or it was the Wall, Street, the Wall Street Journal. By the way, how do you decide in the Wall Street Journal? Like, I don't know. I could send this to anybody. Washington Post? Nah. New York Post. Ooh. Wall Street Journal. Okay, why? Well, every Starbucks in America is going to read it. I don't I don't know. That's that's probably the that in the New York Times. But is it is it sinister or is it smart that he knew the wolves were coming and he went and got dirt on all of them? I can I'm going to make the argument for you later that it's actually smart more than sinister. I mean, I have a dossier on you, Jay Stu, on you, Ramos, with the Ramos ones. Entertaining. <laughs> Dan was a little bit more difficult to get info on. Was really, there's just not a lot there. So in terms of bad info. So, you know, there's the one time in college thing, Dan, which yeah, normally people let it slide, but it reads worse. It reads worse than it actually is. 